What's up guys, it's Alex and today I'm going to answer a question that I get all the time and that is Strike King Thunder Cricket against the Z-Man slash Evergreen Jackhammer. So let's talk about these two baits because like I said, it's a question that I get all the time and it really is a valid question because these are both really the big players in the bladed jig market right now. There are a few other companies out there making some awesome bladed jigs. I think Phoenix Lures makes one or something like that that everybody swears by that I need to pick up and try. And then obviously Z-Man has their original chatterbait. Um, even Strike King has their, I think it's, I'm not really sure. I think it's the Rage Blade or something like that, which is kind of a bladed jig, um, but not like bladed jigs like we're going to be talking about today. But really, these two are the two big main players right now, with really the Z-Man Jackhammer being the benchmark to which all other bladed jigs are held. And so we're going to kind of talk about the benefits of both how they compare, um, which one you guys should go out and spend your money on, and really which one you should have in your boat or in your bank bag or in your kayak at all times. So let's start with the one that started it all, and that is the old Z-Man Jackhammer. So what makes the Jackhammer so special is the blade and the fact that it is so thin. The blade being so thin does a couple things for you. Number one, it helps this bait to stay down in the water column. One big problem that you have when fishing a bladed jig is it wants to rise up through the water column, but with this thinner blade, it helps to keep it down in the water column and it helps to let it cut through the water a lot easier and so there's not as much resistance when you're actually reeling the bait. Another thing that it does is it helps that blade to activate super, super quickly. So what that means is as soon as it hits the water and as soon as you turn that reel handle over, whether you're using a seven one to one or six three to one or six eight to one or whatever gear ratio you're using, that blade starts to chatter. Um, or vibrate, and that's hence the name vibrating jig, chatterbait, that's kind of where that sound comes from. It's when that blade actually starts to work and do what it's supposed to do and make that vibration that bladed jigs are known for. And so that's kind of the deal. That's what makes this thing so special is that blade. The other thing is the attachment point. So how the blade is actually attached to the head, that is what makes this thing patented by Z-Man. Z-Man actually come up with that attachment and that's what they patent and that helps to give it that action. It helps to give that blade that sound that everybody is so familiar with and what really catches the fish and makes the blade do what it needs to do. Now, as far as like components and, and how the bladed jig is actually put together, um, you get an owner snap on the front there which not very many companies are doing that. Those owner snaps are super, super strong. You get a Gamagatsu extra heavy hook in there. I believe it's a flipping hook. I'm not certain. You get a double keeper, which you guys cannot see right now, but there's actually a double wire keeper on that hook to help keep those trailers and whatever you decide to put on there up on there. And then you also get hand tied skirts that will last fish after fish after fish. And you don't have to worry about having to go out and buy a new bladed jig every 20 fish, you can keep one around for a little while. And then obviously the skirt designs are a little more intricate. The head painting is a little more intricate and you get this awesome little detail here, which I love. You can hopefully see that. They show the weight of the bladed jig on the bottom side of the head, which this one is a 3 8 ounce. Another cool design feature of this one is the way that that head is actually designed. It's kind of like a teardrop and all the weight is down towards the bottom more. It helps to kill that bait out so that it doesn't roll. It just wants to go straight up and down and it wants to come through the water column how it should, giving that blade as much action as it possibly can. Now let's talk about the Thunder Cricket. The Thunder Cricket is Strike King's take on the bladed jig. They have another one um, that is called the Rage Blade, I believe, which really isn't like this. This is kind of the true attempt and the true um, look and design of a bladed jig. Now what Strike King actually did was they went out and they didn't partner with Z-Man, but they licensed the attachment point. So they actually licensed the patent that they had on how you actually attach the blade to the head of that jig. Now the difference between the Z-Man Evergreen combination there and the Strike King is actually the blade design. The blade on the Strike King 
Um, I've not taken a measurement tool to it exactly, but it is very thin just like the jackhammer. But obviously you kind of got what I call a nipple design. You guys can kind of see it comes up like a nipple right there, whereas on the Evergreen Z-Man combination, you've got more of that squared off look. So what that does for you again in this bladed jig, this one does not rise. It helps to cut through the water a lot better. But the biggest thing is actually the action and the vibration that you get out of this bladed jig, which we're going to talk about here in just a second after I get done talking about the features of the Thunder Cricket. The Thunder Cricket comes with a snap as well. I'm not really sure the brand on the snap, but it is an egg snap just like the evergreen one. I can't say that it is owner exactly, even though I know the hook is owner. So I'm going to say that this is probably an owner snap on there, which again, good components. They're not going to open up. I like those egg snaps. That's actually what I use on my big swim baits. So that's something I know isn't going to open up on me. As for the hook, you get an owner jungle flipping hook. This is actually a Zowire flipping hook in this thing. And uh, I mean, freaking owner. You can't, you can't really go wrong with an owner hook. You also get the double keeper on the Strike King as well, which you can't see because I've got this trailer on there, but again, helps to keep those trailers up on there and it helps you to not have to go through as many trailers. Now, as for the skirts, these are actually not hand tied skirts. Um, so these skirts do tend to fall apart a little bit faster than what they do on the jackhammer, but still good skirts. They keep together. Um, the head design or the head paint job and the skirts aren't as intricate as what you'll find on the jackhammer. But honestly, guys, when you're reeling this thing past a fish and they're reacting to it, I don't think those intricacies really play into it that big they might they might not if maybe if you're in clear water um, but definitely not as intricate and then the head design is essentially the same it's kind of that teardrop head design with more lead down at the bottom helps to kill this bait out helps it to run true through the water now like I said let's talk about these blade designs and actually how the blades react in the water when you reel them and this is really what makes these two bladed jigs very distinct from each other and in my opinion makes you need both of them these are two totally different bladed jigs i always compare it to a two tap strike king red eye and a normal strike king red eye essentially the same bait but two totally different sounds. And that's what these blades get you are two totally different sounds. So like with your two tap, you have a very distinct thud. It's a very hard thud. With your Z-Man jackhammer, you get a lot harder knock in this bait. This thing is more like a jackhammer. I mean, it's just deep and you can feel it when you reel it. When you get it up next to the boat, you can hear it. It's more of like a toom, 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 toom. Very, very deep, very, very hard knock. Whereas with the Thunder Cricket, it's more like the normal red eye shot. It's more of a high pitch sound and it's a much faster blade. So this blade is more akin to like, almost like a machine gun, very, very fast. And so what I found is that there are situations where both will work. There's situations where one seems to work a little bit better than the other one. And I mean, it's just kind of like having those two tools in your boat. You gotta have the two tap, you've gotta have the normal red eye because there's some days when those fish have seen a thousand red eye shads that you can pick up that two tap and go to work on them. And then there's times when they've seen a thousand two taps, you can pick up the normal red eye shad and go to work on them. I feel like these two bladed jigs are the same exact way. There are days that you can pick up the Thunder Cricket and go to work on them. And there's days that you can pick up the Jackhammer and go to work on them. Now, two distinct situations that I've found that both of these baits actually work better than the other is number one the thunder cricket works better in clear water i don't really know why i think it may be more of that finesse i say finesse it's a bladed jig that higher pitch that faster blade vibration it may not be as intrusive as that hard thump on that jackhammer and it may just get a few more bites i also think that the way that that blade actually makes that bait move um, it's just a little more erratic. It's a little faster. It's a little more darty And so it kind of breaks up the silhouette of that bait when it's coming through the water So in clear water the fish can't really get a good look at it and they'll hammer it Whereas the jackhammer does a lot better in dirtier water and in grass 
Not to say that the Thunder Cricket doesn't do well in grass because I have hammered some big ones in grass before and you guys will have seen some fish catches that I've had on both of these baits as I've talked about them. But the jackhammer just seems to perform better in grass. When you, gotta, when you kinda get it marred up in there, I can jerk it out and get that blade to activate a little bit quicker. And just that heavier thump on that blade as compared to the Thunder Cricket just seems to draw them out of that grass a little bit more. And that's just really what I found with both of these baits, guys. I really dedicated myself this past year to throwing a bladed jig a lot more, really learning which one is best for which situation, which one that I need to have in my boat all the time. And I found that no one bladed jig is better than the other one. I would say get a couple of each. Now I know they're expensive, $15.99 for the Z-Man Jackhammer and $13.99 for the Thunder Cricket, but honestly guys, get a couple, try them both, kind of go out on your waters and see what you think. You may have a totally different experience than I do depending on the region of the country that you live in, but I've just found for me, when I'm in a little bit clearer water, when I'm in you know hard around hard cover, hard bottom, the, the Thunder Cricket just seems to be the one that gets it done where when I'm in grass, when I'm you know in a little bit colder water and a little bit dirtier water, the jackhammer seems to be the one to get it done. But that's just my take on these two baits. Both awesome baits. I would highly suggest checking out both of them and I'll have them linked down below so you guys can go check them out. It'll be the first two links pinned at the top of the comment as well as the first two links at the top of the description so you guys can go pick some up and try them out for yourself. But as always guys, thank you for watching. Any questions or comments, please go leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell let you guys know when I put out all my videos. Also go down in the description, I have links to my partners, like Strike King, I actually partner with Strike King, um, as well as Luz, Afco, Monster Bass, you guys can go check out all of that down below. But as always, you guys are sweet. Thank you for watching.